Okay, E9, welcome to our new topic, length, area, surface area, and volume. Today, we are going to begin with length and perimeter. It will be revision. It will be revision from stuff you have already done. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too challenging for you. Length is the foundation of measurement from which the concepts of perimeter and circumference and area and volume are all developed, okay? So length and the idea of measurement of length is the foundation of everything that we look at in terms of measurement. To convert between metric units, so in Australia we use the metric system, which means there's millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. To convert between units of length, we either multiply or divide by the appropriate power of 10. So if I have two kilometres and I need to convert two kilometres into metres, I take that two kilometres and I multiply it by a thousand to give me 2,000 metres. However, if I get given, say, maybe ooh, 100 centimetres, and I want to convert that to metres, I need to divide that 100 by 100, okay? So 100 centimetres would give me one metre. So to convert between the different uh, metric units, I either need to multiply or divide by the relevant number. It's a bit confusing because when you're going from smaller units to bigger units, you divide. When you're going from bigger units to smaller units, you multiply. Okay. Perimeter is the distance around a closed shape. Sides with the same markings are of equal length. So if you look at Stamford Bridge Stadium here, if I wanted to measure the perimeter okay, of, say, the field, I would go around the outside, like, not like that because that's a bit crap, but, you know, generally you get the point. You go around the outside. It's the distance around the outside of a closed shape. So let's have a look at an example. Um, you notice on the previous slide, actually, I said lines with the same markings are of equal distance. So I know that this side, obviously, first off, this is a rectangle, uh, which means that I have two sides, but vertically opposite of which are equal. So this is 18 metres here, and I have two lines on it and two lines on this. So that must mean I've got two sides that are 18 metres, and then I've got this one here, 12 metres, this one here opposite, also 12, so 12 times 2, 18 times 2 equals 36, 12 times 2 equals 24, which must mean my perimeter is 36 plus 24, 50, 60 metres. Make sure, first thing that you check is that both of your distances are in the same uh, units. So if one's in metres and one's in centimetres, make sure you convert it first. This example I gave you were both in metres. The first thing you need to ask yourself, are they in the same units? Are they in the same units? If not, I convert them. If they are, I can simply perform my calculations. Okay, this one here, okay, find the perimeter of the following shape. So I've been given... I've been given two lines on this one and two lines on that one, so I know that's going to be five there. I haven't been given this bit, though. I haven't been given the length from there to there. Ah, uh, crap. What can I do to work that out? Oh, hold on. If it's from there to there is five, and I know that from here to here is three. Okay, if that whole thing there is five... And that's 3. That must be 2 in here because that's the difference between 5 and 3. And then this little bit in here, down here, if that whole thing there is 6 and up until here is 5, that must be 1. So my perimeter is 3, 5, 2, 1, 5, and 6. So 3 and 5 is 8. 8 and 2 is 10. 10, 1, 11, 16, 22. Now, all of my units were given in centimetres and the additional calculations I had were in centimetres. So the perimeter of this shape is 22 centimetres. Let's look at this example here. Okay, This example here, 
is given as find the unknown side lengths in this shape with the given perimeter. Okay, with this one here. So I've been given a perimeter of 16, okay, and I've, I'm missing some sides. So I know this one here is 5. Oh, sweet. If it's all the thing, the whole thing's 16, yeah, all I have to do is say x plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 equals 16. So there's something I don't know and whole lots of things that I do know, and I know that all together they equal 16. So x plus, how much do all of those equal? Uh, 4, 5, 9, 14. So x plus 14 equals 16. And if you want to be really cool and follow the equation working out thing, you can subtract 14 from this side and subtract 14 from that side. Most of you are sitting there and going, well, x is clearly 2. But if you want it to be proper, take 14 from here, 14 from there, x would be equaling 2. So this side here equals 2 metres. Make sure, make sure you write your answer in whatever unit you get given it. And that's it, guys. That's literally all we're starting with today, okay? Hopefully a lot of this will be revision from year 8 and year 7. Big main points to check. Are all my units the same? So are they all in metres or are they all in centimetres? And then using other information that I already have in order to work out missing side lengths.